Grace Ntombizodwa Mugabe, born on 23 July 1965, is a Zimbabwean entrepreneur, politician, and the widow of the late President Robert Mugabe. Grace Ntombizodwa was born in Benoni, South Africa, to migrant parents as the fourth of five children in the family. In 1970, she moved to Rhodesia to live with her mother, Ida Marufu, in Chivu, while her father stayed and worked in South Africa to support his family. She attended primary school in Chivu and then the Christamambo Secondary School in Manicaland. She married Air Force pilot Stanley Gororaza, and they had a son, Russell Gororaza, born in 1984, when Grace was 19 years old. Whilst working as secretary to the president, Robert Mugabe, she became his mistress at a time when she was still married to Stanley Gororaza and had two children, Bona, born in 1988, named after Mugabe's mother, and Robert Peter Jr. After the death of Mugabe's first wife, Sally Hafron, the couple were married in an extravagant Catholic mass titled The Wedding of the Century by the Zimbabwe Press. At the time of their marriage, Grace Marufu was 31 and Robert Mugabe was 72 years old. Their second child, Robert Mugabe Jr., was born in the early 1990s. In 1997, she gave birth to the couple's third child, Chatunga Berlamin Mugabe. Grace Mugabe enrolled as an undergraduate student at the School of Liberal Arts, Renmin University in China in 2007, studying the Chinese language. She graduated in 2011. She admitted, however, that she was not proficient in Chinese after finishing the degree. Her mother, Ida Marufu, died on 31st August 2018, aged 84. In late 2014, Grace Mugabe was critical of Vice President Joyce Mujuru, who allegedly plotted against her husband, President Mugabe. She doesn't see the writing on the wall in gold print. It's there. She must resign forthwith. The accusations against Mujuru resulted in her elimination as a candidate to succeed Mugabe and her effectively becoming an outcast within ZANU-PF by the time it held a party congress in December 2014. She was nominated as head of the ZANU-PF Women's League and delegates to the party congress approved her nomination by acclamation on 6 December 2014. In becoming head of the Women's League, Marufu also became a member of the ZANU PF Politburo. In November 2017, Grace was instrumental in the firing of the then Vice President, Emerson Menangagwa, after reprimanding him for causing divisions in ZANU PF. Shortly thereafter, Grace expressed her intentions of taking up the Vice Presidency post. The country was in heightened tension, and soon after that, while Emerson Menangagwa had sought refuge outside of Zimbabwe, the military took over in a bloodless coup under General Constantino Chiwenga. Grace Mugabe was notably invisible at this time, with various reports of her whereabouts. On 19th November, Grace Mugabe and 20 of her associates were expelled from the ZANU-PF. When Robert Mugabe died on 6 September 2019, both Mugabes were in Singapore. After observers from the European Union were barred from examining Zimbabwe's 2002 elections, the EU imposed sanctions on 20 members of the Zimbabwe leadership and then, in July, extended them to include Grace Mugabe and 51 others, banning them from traveling to participating countries and freezing any assets held there. In 2003, the United States instituted similar restrictions. During her tenure as First Lady, Grace Mugabe oversaw the construction of two palaces. The first, commonly referred to as Gracelands, was criticized for its extravagance. Grace Mugabe later explained that she had paid for it with her own personal savings. It was later sold to Muammar Gaddafi of Libya. The second was completed in 2007, costing around $50 million. The construction was funded by the ZANU-PF party to thank Robert Mugabe for his political service. She also acquired property holdings in Hong Kong, including a diamond cutting business and a property at Tai Po, New Territories. IOL News speculated that this property acquisition was intended as both a weekend getaway for their daughter, Bona, who was studying at the University of Hong Kong under an assumed name, 
and that she and her husband expect to escape to China should they be ousted from power in Zimbabwe. Controversy ensued when Grace Mugabe was given a doctoral degree in sociology in September 2014 from the University of Zimbabwe, two months after entering the program. She was awarded the degree by her husband and university chancellor, Robert Mugabe. Her doctoral thesis was not published in the university archive along with other graduates, and she has faced calls to return her PhD. The awarding of the degree caused a backlash in the Zimbabwean academic community, with some commenting that this could harm the reputation of the university. On 22 January 2018, the university website published Grace Mugabe's PhD thesis without a signature page of a doctoral committee. Levi Nyangura, the vice chancellor of the University of Zimbabwe, was arrested in 2018 by the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission to be charged with abuse of office following an investigation into the PhD. Mugabe's reputation for violence and hot temper earned her the nickname of Disgrace at home. There have also been incidents abroad. The Times reported on 18th of January 2009 that while on a shopping trip in Hong Kong, where her daughter Bona Mugabe was a university student, Mugabe ordered her bodyguard to assault Sunday Times photographer Richard Jones outside her luxury hotel. She then joined in the attack, punching Jones repeatedly in the face while wearing diamond-encrusted rings, causing him cuts and abrasions. She was subsequently granted immunity from prosecution under Chinese diplomatic rules because of her status as Mugabe's wife. In August 2017, while visiting South Africa to treat an ankle injury, Grace is said to have assaulted a 20-year-old model, Gabriella Engels, and two friends, who were in the company of her two younger sons, Robert Jr. and Chatunga, at a hotel in Santon, Johannesburg. It is alleged that Grace hit the women and her sons with an extension cord, causing various injuries including a deep gash on Engel's forehead. This was after accusing the women of living with her sons. After charges were laid by Engels for assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, Grace was due to appear at a Johannesburg court on 15th of August 2017, but failed to do so. She was subsequently granted diplomatic immunity. After President Robert Mugabe got deposed by Emerson Menangagwa, Gabriella Engels posted a tweet vowing revenge on Grace Mugabe. On 30th of July 2018, the South African High Court stripped Grace of her diplomatic immunity and allowed the case involving her assault against Engels to proceed 